So I'm a big football fan. I love football, right? And I don't care who your favorite team is. Can we agree on one thing? Raider fans are crazy. Right? Raider fans are crazy. The last Raider fan I met was like, Raiders Nation, bitch. Raiders Nation, bitch. I'm going to kill you. And that was my doctor. Worst physical ever. He always wanted to give me a prostate exam. He had that big foam number one finger on. So I kept going back. It was covered under Obamacare. Raider fans get mad at me for doing that joke. They want to fight me after the show. They're like, hey man, you think you're so funny with your Raider jokes? I'm going to kick your ass. So I draw a line between us. And on my side, I write the word touchdown because I know he's not going to cross it. They don't think that's too funny. He, he kicked my ass. And I scratch him like a bitch. I'm addicted to weird things, guys. I'm not addicted to alcohol and drugs. I'm addicted to Costco. Costco's the only place you try to save money by spending everything that you have. Bro, check this out. I saved so much money. I lost my house. Bro, you saved too much. You have to find creative ways of getting rid of stuff at Costco. I bought condoms. Now I'm opening up a Planned Parenthood. I hate the food sample lady at Costco. You know the food sample lady? Yeah. She's like, it's her 10th time around. This isn't a buffet. I'm on a date, bitch. She's hungry. Some more mac and cheese, please. I know she puts out. I met her at Planned Parenthood. I'm a big fan of kids, man. I think kids are cool. I'm the fun uncle. Here's the thing I learned about kids. Kids are like farts. Most of them smell bad. Some of them are loud. The silent ones are deadly. And you can only stand your own. You can't stand anybody else's. My dad's cheap. My dad's so cheap when he dies, he's gonna walk towards the light and turn it off. He's like, why are you wasting energy, God? You go to Costco, okay? I'm single. Sometimes I think women make up an excuse not to go out on a date. I asked out this one girl, she's like, uh-uh, mm -mm, I don't date guys I work with. I'm like, but you're unemployed. She's like, so are you, so we're like coworkers. I think one of the reasons I'm single is because women can't handle success. Like, I have a really nice luxury car that women hate. It's a 1983 Winnebago RV. One of the nice things about picking up a girl in my RV and taking her on a date is I don't have to worry about buying her drinks because we're both getting high from the carbon monoxide that's leaking in. The last girl I picked up in my RV, she's like, ew, feels like you're going to kidnap me, have sex with me, and take me camping. I said, who said anything about taking you camping? <laughs> I like to trick women. I was at a club. This chick's like, you want to dance? I'm like, no thanks. She's like, I can tell how good you're on bed. By the way you dance. I was like, crap, how about we go to bed first and you can tell me if I'm a good dancer? I think women need to stop getting mad at men for checking them out because they look good. Ladies, if you're going to dress hot, we're going to check you out. You can't get mad at us. I was at the mall checking out this chick. She was basically in her underwear. She looked at me with a disgusted look on her face. She's like, what the hell are you doing in the women's dressing room?
I took my shopping bag full of panties and I took off. <laughs> trying to enjoy my Saturday evening and she ruined it. <laughs> so my name is Mateen. I'm Kurdish. Most people don't know what that is. It's a race of people in the Middle East without a country. We come from five countries, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Russia. But when you put them together, they form Voltron. <laughs> which is pretty cool. My parents want me to marry someone Kurdish. I'm like, sweet, because there's so many around. <laughs> Fortunately, I found that website. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hotkurds.com. <laughs> Where you fill out the questionnaire to match you up with the nearest Kurdish girl. I filled out the questionnaire to match me up with my sister. <laughs> so I told my dad, he got real mad. I'm like, relax, I don't want to date my sister. He's like, it's not that, Mateen. You're not good enough for my daughter. <laughs> so I am Middle Eastern. Middle, Middle Eastern people get a lot of bad press, which sucks. Every time a Middle Eastern person does something bad on the news, I'm like, crap, the next month, I gotta pretend to be Mexican. <laughs> I'm like, hola, me amo, Miguel. <laughs> Donde esta en biblioteca? <laughs> Guys, it took four years of high school Spanish. The only thing I learned and remember is donde esta en biblioteca? That means where's the library? How the hell is that supposed to help me when I'm in TJ getting stabbed because I want a beer? And the only thing I can remember is donde esta en biblioteca? And what does that look like? Donde esta en biblioteca, Miguel? Donde esta? Donde esta? And Miguel's like, donde esta? La Biblioteca. <laughs> oh, senor, you forgot the law. He's a very polite bilingual stabber. Every time I do that joke, I can't help but think there's a Mexican teacher in Mexico teaching his high school students English for the first time. And he's teaching them something equally dumb because they don't know. He's like, mira, 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 repita. They're after me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Repita, they're after me, Lucky Charms. All the Mexican students are like, they're after me, Lucky Charms. They're after me, Lucky Charms. They come over to America in a bad part of town, they start getting stabbed. They're after me, Lucky Charms. They're after me, Lucky Charms. And the stabber's like, and they're magically delicious.